the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And we have a very special guest with us today by the name of... My name is Derek. Derek Ferrick. And I'm inventor of uh, an alien spacecraft that I use in the United States to fly up and visit people on Mars. <laughs> I'm sorry, Derek. You'll have to speak up a little bit louder, louder. Der- but... Der- uh, uh, I'm, I'm very shy. Yeah, my say- name is Derek Ferrick. I invented a spacecraft in the United States here and- in my in my basement, and I can fly up to see people on Mars. All right, all right fair, fair enough. Yes. Derek, uh, I didn't. Uh, Derek, did Ferrick. you did you book Derek or did I? I'm just wondering. Uh, Derek, how did you get here? Yeah, who let I, you in? I hacked your computer system and I put myself on your schedule, and oh, okay. so I that's how I got here. Hi. All right, we're definitely gonna have to fire somebody, but I, I, you know, we, we're already we're already too deep. I mean, into we're already it. here, yeah, so. so we might as well just keep it going. Yeah. So, so, Derek, where did you get the idea to build your spacecraft? Well, I have no friends, and I have very <laughs> poor social skills, so I've spent my time alone for the past twenty six years. Not even my mother or my father likes me, so I just spend time in the basement building things, and I finally built an alien spacecraft that takes me up to Mars. <laughs> So, so are you to blame for all the UAPs that have been flying around lately and all of the sightings that have been? It's possible. It's possible. You know, I'm very prolific. I have a lot of craft out there and people tend to, you know, like to take pictures of them and videos and stuff. But nobody knows where I live. How many craft have you built? You know, about 15,000. 15,000. Know. I, yeah, I have a bunker a in my backyard. They all live in the bunker. You'll never find it. Okay, but you just told us where it was. Yeah, but you don't know where I live. I mean, we didn't even know how you got here. Derek, so where, do you, where do you live, Derek? I live in Kentucky. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah. Derek, I, I sense your intelligence from here. Thank you. Um, I'm very what smart. What is your primary uh, source of uh, creating? Like, what, what materials do you use to make these spacecraft? Um, Plastic. Yeah, lots of plastic, plastic and then sense, metal. Yeah. Plastics and metal. Yep. Yeah, plastic and metal. Those and are actually two very popular building components, Jonas. I don't know if you're aware of this. Right, right. I use a lot of silver and gold as well. It's very oh. important for spacecraft what, because, what, you know, that they, they, when they go up high, they need to be able to endure, like, the, the cold and of space and all of that. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, where, yeah. do you, where do you get the money to fund your, your projects? I'm, I hack into people's bank accounts and I and I take, you know, pennies. Checking just, my bank account right just now. Just pennies, you know, sure. just, just uh, some pennies. Oh, do you round the transactions like in that movie? Yeah, well, that's where I got the idea. Um, Office Space. I, that's my favorite movie. Derek, why is there twelve cents taken out of my account? It's okay. It's okay. You won't miss it. It's a slippery slope, Derek. All right, just let me know next time. I would have just gave you the twelve cents. Hold on, my AI is telling me that that is sarcasm in your tone. Are you being so? Are and also funniness? Are you being those things? I try to be funny on a daily basis, but I, cannot, I gen- generally fail. I cannot detect emotions. That's probably autism. I think. I think that's. I think that is that what that is. I don't I'm know very exactly artistic. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just making. I don't know. I'm very artistic. I, I have what, yeah, what people call hypographia, so every hour I have to draw extensively on things. Extensive. What do you draw on your spacecraft? Uh, lots of signs and symbols that I get from my alien friends up on Mars. Fair enough. Yeah, Fair they're enough. they're trying to advance our, our race as humans, and that's why I'm so smart. But they made a mistake and they removed my emotions, but I'm okay with that. So when you hear the news about the UAPs, yeah. And about David Gersh, yeah. who has said this, that there are over half a dozen NHIs, non-human intelligence, yeah. that we have been in contact with since the 1930s. Yeah. Where do you stand on this timeline? Where do you stand in this this complex web that we've woven with these intergalactic creatures? Well, they just want to advance us, and we see them as a threat or something like that. Actually, quite a few of them live in Kentucky. Um, they're my neighbors. Um, they they can shape shift and, and assume human form. Sometimes they look like you know presidents, and sometimes they are presidents. Mm. Um, but you know that's that's okay. And like we're 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 good. All we have to do is learn to integrate. You know they're the same as us, but they're from somewhere else. Honestly, that was about the most accurate thing. <laughs> that is that is true. I swear that's some good stuff right there, baby. Yeah, I think like, I think I think he's real. Derek, Eric's a field. Dude. I think Derek's real. That made a lot of sense. I'm real. I'm, <laughs> I'm, Derek's a real one. I'm Derek, right here. Derek, you want a drink? Yeah. <laughs> All 
Yeah, just water for you, though. Just water. Okay. All right. No yeah. ice. No ice. I, I can only have water at 5 p.m. every day. Okay. Fair <laughs> why, why 5 p.m.? Oh, it's, I'm, it's when I take my medications and my antipsychotics. What, what do you drink other than water when you're not taking your psychotic pills? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. No hydration? I hydrate at 5 p.m. every day. Okay. Like uh, I was, the, enough for the whole day at one time. I I usually have about a, a gallon of water at five p.m. and that's enough for each day. I'm just glad that Derek didn't say he drank his own urine because I was really expecting it to kind of go there, but it didn't. But he kind of gave me the vibe of a person that I mean, might do that, you know. But I did. mean, technically, you know, urine is sterile, and if you were in a situation where you were deprived of hydration and you could still urinate, you could drink your own. You're in so that you can stay, you know, hydrated and you can survive out there in the wilderness. There, you just, you don't blast at parties, right? You just, like, every, all the girls, like, you just, I can tell. I, I can the tell. only girl I know is my mother and she doesn't like me. Yeah, see, okay, that's, you know what, I'm not surprised about that. But I can tell, I can tell that you'd be killer at a party. When's the last time you partied? Got uh, down. When's the last time you party party though? I've never party, had a, party. I've never had a party before, but. Uh, girls on the internet tend to like me because I wear thick glasses and, you know, I look like I have three legs. <laughs> wow. That's a... That's not just Girl, a... I need you to do something. <laughs> what? I need you to do something. I, I don't know. I'm, I don't I'm need you to do nerdy. I, I'm, I'm a nerd, but I also have it going on downstairs. Okay, well, well, well. <laughs> oh, I they call know. you tripod if we're catching your drift. Mm, I don't know if we need to encourage that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't. I don't know if that's. I, but I don't. Fun. You know, I don't know how to use things. I I, I, okay. I don't have those. Well, I don't know. <laughs> so I don't have pivot. those. Let's pivot. Yeah. Tell us about the first time you went to Mars. I need to know about that. Well, I was in my spacecraft and I landed, and I have a special suit that I wear so I can breathe oxygen and you know a compression suit as well, so that I can acclimate to the the pressures on that planet and the gravity. And you know, I went for I went for a walk. And uh, it was really nice, and I met my friend, <laughs> and um, Fair. they they were very nice to me, and they fed me some of their uh, their food. I would never try to pronounce that name as I, <laughs> fear, I feel like I would offend someone. I feel like every time it's said, it's pronounced differently, and, <laughs> that, and that's the specialness of it. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Subtle nuance. Very nuanced. It's all in the... the <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Let's, let's all try it together. <laughs> it's in the... <laughs> it's in the uh, yeah. Very good. The rest of it you can kind of like just yeah, yeah. play with a little bit. but it's That was the, great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you know Donald Trump? Do I know him? <laughs> Do I like personally? Yeah, you yes. homies tell her about it. Uh, yo, look. Okay, so look. Him. Derek, I saw sorry. an email that you wrote to him recently because I hacked I your mean, email. I mean, it wouldn't be surprising. What? What did? <laughs> what, what did the email say? I, I'm fine with you reading. It was an open letter anyway. Well, that so, I write it was something Trump. about him. You know that he should just crawl, crawl into a dark hole and wither away. Oh wait, no, that's not me. Oh, <laughs> that's not me. That's not me. No, Is no, I'm sorry, Derek. The chess club. <laughs> was it the one where you invited him to chess club? Oh, no, if anything, I'd be praising him on his job well done. Oh, <laughs> that that was it. That was the one that I read. <laughs> that was the one you read. I was confused. I was thinking of another Derek that lives in Ohio. <laughs> Fair enough. There's yeah. a lot of Derek's. Are there more than one of you, Derek? I think so. Most people have a twin. I would say there's countless numbers of us if you go dimensionally. Have you ever seen those pictures on the internet where people are like, I went to a concert and met my doppelganger, and they're like two people that look exactly the freaking same? Yeah, yeah. And they're wearing like the same shirt and yeah, everything, yeah, like yeah, they yeah. run into each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small world. You'd be surprised. That is that is terrifying to me, that I'm going to go to like the bar and run into me wearing the same clothes I'm wearing, but not me. I mean, well... That I guess it all kind of matters on like like if you're wearing something that's flashy enough, man. Like Derek, look at what Derek's wearing. Derek has on silver pants. I do. He has on platform shoes. I haven't seen no since like seventies movies. I don't yeah. buy clothing. I just scrounge from. And Derek, trash tell me about pants. tell me about the shirt, the shirt jacket ensemble you have, and the ascot too that matches. Mm, that's really a nice ascot, though. Tell me about that. Well, I should mention that because I'm so intelligent, I'm also colorblind. So you know, <laughs> okay, the Lord fair. giveth and the Lord taketh, and um, <laughs> you know, I have been giveth high intelligence and no color sense. So I believe, uh, I believe my shirt is blue. It is. Um, yes. And it it's has some shirt. red stripes. Wow. And um, really it's, descriptive. There, it makes Derek. it makes me feel like 
very uh, posh, if that's that's the word all the kids use. No, they are not. They are not. They call it look maxing at this point. Look time. maxing. Look maxing. This is a real thing, by the way, guys. I just um, want to let you know you're old and that it is called looks maxing. Looks maxing. Yes. Look, yes. Look see maxes. Yeah, sure. Yes. You're. I see you're. You're grasping it. It's when you try to maximize your appearance. Mas yes. Masking my appearance. No, maxing. You're <laughs> maximizing, not masking your appearance. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. It's a big difference. Real thing. All right, Derek, do you have any closing words? We're about to wrap it up, but I mean, I'm after you've hacked your way onto our show, I want to at least give you a time to say something yeah. before we leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live long and prosper. Okay, okay. That's a that's a Star Trek thing. That's like a, uh, a Star Trek. Don't they put thing. that on the people's walls in their house? Yes. Nope. What is it? live live prosper laugh. Live, love, laugh is what you're thinking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That live too. long as pro prosper is a Star Trek Vulcan thing. Very not surprised that Derek would know that. And maximize your appearance. And yes, and look maxing, <laughs> maximize your look. Maximize, maximize. I I love it. I there love it. Go. So, anyways, that's all the time we do have for today's episode. Thank you for coming, Derek Perrick. For Jonas. TNT and bye. Okay. <laughs> and we are out. <laughs>